Let me tell you now about our limited edition whiskey called This Is Not a Luxury Whiskey. With this, we wanted to have some fun. We also wanted to get people to think about whiskey and about the ever increasing numbers of so-called luxury whiskeys, ever increasingly high prices that have come out over the years. We just wanted to get people to think about what expensive so-called luxury whiskey is all about. Is it about the packaging? Is it about the perceived rarity? Or is it about the liquid in the bottle and the pleasure and the enjoyment that that gives or can give? Discuss. <laughs> um, we call it This Is Not a Luxury Whiskey. We're inspired by the famous René Magritte painting, um, early 20th century surrealist painting, painting of a pipe, realistic painting of a pipe, and underneath it he paints, This Is Not a Pipe. This is not a luxury whiskey. It's a big whiskey. What we wanted to do was make something unassailably um, luxurious, if you will. Um, and to do that, we sourced some quite old malt whiskey from the Glenord Distillery that has been aged in beautiful sherry butts all of its, all of its life. And to that, we buttressed it with a little bit of uh, very old uh, smoky whiskey from the Kalila Distillery. And in there as well, just to kind of give a softness and a sweetness and to sort of sex it up a little bit, if you will, um, we put just under 20% of the recipe old grain whiskey from two different distilleries. So it's technically it's a blended Scotch whiskey, but it drinks like old malt whiskey. It's big whiskey, it's cast strength. We bottled it at 53.1% cast strength. And you get lovely um, sherry wine character and all that kind of dried fruit character that comes with that. Hints of smoke. And on the palate, even though it's 53.1%, in part, that the grain whiskey brings a softness and a sweetness, and it's like it's a luxurious, if you will, um, velvety, mouth-coating feeling that you get from this whiskey. Big, luxurious. This is not a luxury whiskey.